Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got some traveler notebooks to show you. Um, and uh, they are all about nature and spring. And um, I hope you are all doing well and staying at home if you can. Um, so we can all get through this horrible situation but creating things keeps me going so I am here showing you things I made so I've got seven of these and three are a little bit different so there is ten all together and so I've got seven of these they are similar not identical but similar they are tight they have an eyelet here um, they have a tie that matches with the flowers and right we have blue one so there are there is a print of vintage painting of butterflies like a botanical painting then I did um, some oh what is it called I don't know. I just sewn on some flowers, youth string, and like that on on a machine, all hand sewn. And uh, uh, here is a little um, clover that is in my logo and I used to include them in every book that I made but then I ran out but now they are back so here is one it's on a ball pin so you can take it off if you want here is sorry. here is the back it's a hand dyed fabric I dyed it with fabric dye um, and I love the weave in the other texture so there is, I would say there is uh, 35, maybe 40 pages front and back. Sorry, all these strings are not gonna be there. It's just messy from, right, sorry. Uh, right, so it's lined with a tea dyed fabric, co cotton. Here is a pocket made out of a glassine bag that I tea dyed. I stenciled the butterfly on it and stamped it. Here is a paper butterfly. Inside is this, you can put that wherever you want. It's this flower, garden flower, delphinium. So there are different ones in all different books. There is five in each book. And you can decorate with them. I didn't stick them anywhere. You can decorate with them if you want. Here is a pocket. Everything sewn together. Loads of sewing. There is a journaling tag that I stuck on this craft paper. A mushroom and um, a eco dye card that you can write on. and pergament paper with a gold sticker it's a vellum sticker uh, here is philodendron it's a vintage houseplant book so here is philodendron um, here is a graph paper tea dye this is um, like an open envelope for sending newspapers or documents i think and I sewn a glassine bag to it. I tea dyed it and stamped it and put a little sticker on it. And inside is um, a page that I stamped and tea dyed with grid dot, dot grid <laughs> that you can write on. And it fits there. And here is Enid Holden page with some spring summer flowers. This is all about gardens and flowers or house plants. Here is an airmail envelope which is from Czech Republic and it's vintage. I tea dyed it because it was new, but uh, it was vintage because there was a stock of these in um, paper shop 
that they found somewhere from years ago and they sold it off for like a penny a piece so I bought them and they are old because nobody uses those anymore because everything goes by plane really this is um, Sir Walter Scott poem uh, that is vintage original page I don't know the date because it's probably 18 late 1800s because they didn't date books then much so there's no date tea dyed paper uh, hand dyed um, tracing paper that I dyed blue and sewn a pocket in it then there is a vintage page uh, from a book about birds so yellow here is a uh, took this is an index card with a vintage book page on it original book page that i sewn to it and behind it is a tag from tim holtz paper all sewn around as well loads of sewing a tim holtz paper pocket here and hand dyed drawing paper the paper is drawing paper 120 gsm vintage page original vintage page um this i think this is the flower that they get saffron from there's a massive argument outside my window and there is two police people oh well um yeah that's a spring flower that always comes up in spring in the Czech Republic or everywhere I suppose I'm in Ireland but I don't really have much nature here unless I go somewhere on a train or with a car so I don't see them here is a fabric pocket with nice um, like um, linen proper linen fabric uh, here is um, a, it's like a washi tape but it's see-through so it looks like white stamping it, I saw in a pocket and this is a page from a Peter Rabbit book so I put that there because it's all to do with garden this is a vintage garden encyclopedia of British plants so I made an envelope out of that and mushroom page on the tracing paper I don't know if you can hear the screaming and crying outside I'm sorry about that um, this is the other philodendron page pergament paper and this is a um, real dry plant specimen in wax paper on a, on a watercolor paper card made into a pocket sewn onto this page and this is the back of the journal with this beautiful blue bird uh, that's a designer paper and there you go so I'll show you one more but I will not go through the details because they are similar so here we have a more subtle green hand dyed um, sewn plants and butterfly vintage butterfly print clover tie closure eyelet and this one has got begonias so it could be for somebody who likes house plant gardening or just likes nature sorry these tails i can cut them off that's not permanent so the, the middle that's a a real vintage page in every middle of every journal is a vintage page of a garden plants here is the Duke of Burgundy butterfly type that's a vintage page 
that's a vintage page note copies real pages bread page pocket with green tracing paper in it holden so they are all similar some tags so you get the idea and every journal has got this wax paper specimen so we've seen blue and green here is pink oh i'm sorry here is pink that is good that this is actually dyed with avocado skin so no artificial color this is dyed with artificial color and more of the same every every journal has got this pocket as well this one is anthurium and this they are all color coordinated so this page the paper and this dyed paper are sort of pinky as well then we've got this and okay more of the same and then is this one so we have green red and beige and blue moths or a butterfly thing and same sort of situation again i think they have each about 40 pages front and back um clover this is a really beautiful and subtle the white butterflies and green goes with the fabric and the tie goes with the plants i like this one it's sort of my kind of aesthetic um, and we've got scissors and then, then is these so this is dragonfly and we've got these and these stalks are red so that goes with the tie again and um, this fabric is this it's got little tiny squares and look at the marbling on that that's from the salt in the dye that's the way i dye it because i don't want it to be even i like the marbling effect so that's beige brown sewn around and uh, we've got this there are some insects beautiful colorful and a red tie to go with a red plant and this is that marbled fabric with little squares again nice to touch they are a little bit bigger than traveler's notebook so they don't need to go into the cover into traveler's notebook cover they can be used without it because they have got covered themselves on their own anyway. So these three are different. And the difference is they don't have tie. Uh, they have everything else, but they don't have closure. They have slightly, I think they've got two or three papers more, so slightly more pages. And they have these ruffles and the pocket and they have this envelope and uh, a slightly different pages they have Tim Holtz papers they have got loads of tags and pockets and vintage pages and eco dyed pages and everything else and oh and i will have to finish so here is a pocket and you can see them in my descriptions on etsy they will be on etsy and they are tea dyed 
Cofidite and they have the Sir Walter Scott poems. Okay, thank you very much for watching and keep healthy and safe. Bye!